Hello viewers, welcome to Agile Math class. Today we'll be solving this mind blowing question. Please, before we proceed, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be look looking at this question. We have two unknowns with two equations. We are using two approaches here. We are using the completing the square approach and also the simultaneous equation approach. Follow me. Now, looking at the solving this first, we have x square minus y square equals to 8. Looking at this, this is called the difference of two squares. And in solving the difference of two squares, it means the addition of this and the subtraction of this. When you try to expand this, you get this back, okay? This is equals to 8. And don't forget from the question that x minus 2, x minus y equals 2. So in this case, you substitute this, you replace x minus y with 2. So here we have x plus y times 2 equals 8. Solving this further, you can divide both sides by what? 2, which is 2, 2. So 2 can cancel out 2. 2 here 1, 2 here you have 4. So here we have x plus y equals 4. Okay? So here you form another equation. Let's call this equation 2. Equation 3, why we call this equation 1. Okay? So now combining these two equations, we have x minus y equals 2 as our first equation and we have x plus y equals 4 as the let's say the third equation now solving this using simultaneous equation approach i encourage you to use the elimination approach which is faster so adding these two equations together x plus x gives what 2x minus y plus y cancel out they have been eliminated 2 plus 4 gives 6 so we have 2x equals 6. And the next thing for us to do is to divide by the coefficient of x, which is 2, which is 2. And um, we have x to the equals 3. So we have 2x equals 6. Dividing both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 2, which is 2. Finally, our x equals 3. Now, substituting this back into the equation 1, which was x minus y equals 2. So, the value of x is being replaced with 3. So, here we have 3 minus y equals 2. So, making y minus y subject of the formula by bringing it here, we have y equals 3 minus 2. Finally, y equals 1. So, the value of x in coordinate form, the value is now 3 comma 1 thank you and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you next video